Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Welcome to Success Path, where we explore success stories. Today we have uh, Riyad Bilayid, a profilic writer with not just one book, but two. Today we are going to delve into the journey of his writing, of exploring his literal, literal side and inspiration and creative process that have brought these words to life. Uh, Riyad, welcome. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Assalam. So, can you present yourself and tell us a little bit about your writing skills, your what drove you to writing? Okay, sure. Well, first of all, my name is Riyad Blade. I'm a student in Hasbro Mubarak Shlif, Master of Journalism. I'm 23 years old. Mm -hmm. I started my career at writing an official books were published in 2021, February, I guess. This, this is how I started writing books. Like during 2016, I started writing books, etc., little by little. Mm -hmm. Then, while of my skills, into, as I told you before, in February, I published my first book. And next year, later, inshallah, there is a new book. Okay, so third yeah. book is coming. Inshallah, of course. So, you studied journalism. Yeah. Th did that uh, affect you and make you want to write? No, not at all. Because I started uh, like at the age of 16. Mm -hmm. I was in uh, school, so it's not a big deal. I did it for myself, to be honest with you. I started writing for myself to get my med medicament back because writing is like a amount, okay? Yes, it is. Mm. Okay, now, can you share a little bit about your books? Like, what every one of them talk about and characteristics, maybe? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, for, the, for the first book, it's 34 Thoughts. 34 Thoughts? Thought, yeah. Okay. And uh, the second one, Three Moods. So the first one, it's limited series. So what I've done, that to make people know the first book and the second book, so mm -hmm. combine two books together and oh, publish okay. three. Yeah, um, come uh, publish three. Smart. Books. Yeah, because a lot of people miss my first book, so I decided mm -hmm. to publish this one and combine together and give you this three moods. So three moods, group of thoughts, simple thoughts, that treat multiple feelings, problems, mistakes, anything. So it speak about our life. To be honest with you, real life. Yeah, real life, like real problem life. Like people okay, don't know how to find a solution, so I, I did find a solution for them. It's maybe about, uh, yani it's about expressing yourself, your yeah. feelings, your thoughts. This is it. Express uh -huh. my feelings to me, to, me, to the others. Mm -hmm. By sharing your thoughts, I was able to publish this one. Let everyone understand how to figure out, to find a solution with themselves. This is it. Mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay, now what initially sparked your passion for writing and, and how did it evolve over time? Well, as I told you before, mm -hmm. writing is my medicament. Like when I'm in pain, pain or overthinking what I did, that was the right things. Treatment. Yeah, like treatment. Therapy. <laughs> yeah, this is it. Like writing is really good things to let yourself out, mm -hmm. express your feelings. The best thing that no one can read it unless you publish it. This is it. Okay, let's stop at this point. Yeah, sure. Let's go together to the jingle and come back. We are back with uh, Riyad, who is an inspiring young writer. Uh, we were talking about the spark and the passion uh, for writing and how did it evolve over time and over your career and yeah, yeah let's continue. Yeah, of course. Uh, so as I told you, writing makes me express my feelings. I try to develop myself little by little mm -hmm. by writing and try new experiment every time. Like mm -hmm. when I write something, even if it's painful or happy one, I try to develop myself to make everyone who wants to read or do it follow his dream, just follow it, follow our path, this is it, mm -hmm. it's not hard to Okay, so as a writer, what, um, what are the main reasons and the main messages that you aim to, to convey through your words? Uh, look, the book is a psychology thing, like a lot of people are afraid of sh from sharing his feelings or from mistakes or problems, mm -hmm. so I, I call it from psychology things, I aim for psychology things that people are afraid to share or to fa even face it, I was brave enough to face them and give it a solution to make it easier for everyone. So you're aiming to make people share their feelings more, their ideas yeah. more, their thoughts more? I want to make people happy and live the best way they can. This is okay. it. It's so simple. That's good. Okay, now could you share 
uh, insight uh, into your creative process and how how do you approach like writing? Well, it's so simple. Writing the main the main the main thing in writing to be patient with it. Okay, mm -hmm. it's not not always writing things etc. You need to be patient with it, and, uh, especially when you have you know inspiration to write. Mm -hmm. You need to focus on your writing skills. You need to be patient and. Little by little, you get what you want by publishing things you are satisfied with. Okay, from your first book to your second book, like, what were there any lessons that you learned and make you want to made you want to do better on the second one? Definitely. Yes. Definitely. Let's talk about that. Yeah, they say it is just a number for us. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I'm young, but I lived a lot of things that people at the bigger age they didn't live it. So, mm -hmm. as my ex my experience, I try to convert every experience in my life terrible or good one to this book I was able to make anything to words so what are the insights that you gained and helped influence your storyline your life in general I was satisfied with to be honest with you every mistakes I've done with it I'm glad that I have, because every mistake happened for one reason mm -hmm. to learn from our mistakes it's so easy by the way if you don't learn from mistakes, you will do it again and again and again, but you will never yes. learn it. But if you do one mistake and repeat it once again, and you learn from it, you will never do this mistake again. So, what are the mistakes? Mistakes in our life, like people judge people, yeah. like overreacting, overjudging, mm -hmm. etc. So for me, you need to focus before you talk. This is because we talk shitty things that aren't supposed to say. Yes. But you need to focus in your work. This is it. Thank you, Riyad. Let's go to the second jingle and come back. Now we are back uh, to Riyad, an inspiring young writer. So we were saying, uh, readers often connect deeply with authors. How do you hope? your book resonates with uh, with your audience and what kind of impact are you aspiring and aiming to make well first of all it took nine years to publish the book so after a lot of studies took nine years <laughs> yeah okay. uh, it takes a lot of time to be honest a lot of studies to see how the others live and react to their problems and behavior etc so i was close enough to people to ev not everyone some of them mm -hmm to try to create some stories in my mind to what to touch their feelings to make them feel Maybe what i thought to understand their feelings yeah this is it yes to express what they feel it took time mm -hmm. to it study takes them time, yes yeah, of, of course. course because it's not easy to study them it takes time to even understand your own feelings and your own thoughts yeah this is it because it's not not everyone can understand exactly. it exactly because yes because feelings it's something very sensible okay now, not anyone can feel it and touch it. So, do you think? Do you think that the Algerian society um, have a problem with that? That's it, what made you maybe write. A lot of people shame and afraid from it's their feelings. Is it? That's a fact. Actually. Yeah, this is the fact. This is the truth. Ever, mm -hmm. not every Algerian person, but it's the reality. The most Major, of them. The majority. Of, they are afraid to share their feelings with with their beloved or anyone they love. For me, mm -hmm. go for it. Don't be ashamed of it. It's not. It's not worth it. To be honest. Go for it. Live. We live once, not twice. Okay. So enjoy your life. Yes. Yeah. So now, exploring the journey further, can you can you share a little uh, about like obstacles and challenges that faced you, and what are the specific strategies that made you outcome them and continue your writing journey? Well, the first obstacle is to share a book, because there is several things. Mm -hmm. talk in the book talk about me so a little bit afraid and shame if people will love it or not or if they like it or not mm -hmm. because there's like and dislike to be honest this is it maybe you're afraid to be misunderstood yeah, this is it i was f really really afraid people misunderstand me okay but with my massive support this is my key to the success to be honest with you. this is the key of everything so because of her i'm right here with you in the tv show so so for me follow the path by me can you own wait so it's all about your mom. Of course. She's yes. the, my key to discuss. Yes, that's so yeah. good. That's so pretty beautiful, actually. What would you say as a last word, maybe um, a motivation to the young people who have ideas in their minds? Well, everyone 
from the, from the one, small one to young, young, old, no everyone. No matter what the age is. Go for it. Live because we live, as you told, we live once, not twice. Yes, really Follow your dream by making your own path. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid from what you face. Be afraid what you lost. This is it. So I uh, truly hope to people follow what they want, not what they desire, because from what we want and what we desire is not the same thing. Follow, mm -hmm. choose How the one. How is that? I mean, people desire things, but mm -hmm. forget what they truly want. They don't value things. Yeah, many do. So. Yeah, people don't value things until they lose it. Okay? Yes, true. This is it. I hope someone will get something valuable. Try to keep it and hold it, and to try to use it in a better way, not just wasting time. Ignore things. Be aware what you are doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. The last thing. I hope you really enjoyed this program. And yes. Thank you for the invitation. The last thing. I hope everyone who helped me to where I'm be here right now yes. to be happy what I did. Thank you so much. Thank you for being with us, Riyad. It was so such a pleasure. It was pleasure such a fun and good, beneficial conversation. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Dear viewers, we have arrived now to the end of today's episode from Success Path. We had Riyad, a young, inspiring writer with his books that talks about ideas, feelings, and everything around that. Thank you for being with us. See you next time.